All right, Mia Ali, so coming off the 100 meter hurdle final, um, come up just uh, just a very, very tight race, but just talk me through kind of not only the race, but just your overall experience here at Trials. Um, it, was, it was quite the experience. Um, I barely made it to the starting line and, and then progressively um, started to feel a bit better. And I felt like I ran very within myself for the semifinals. So I just really felt like I had a lot to give today. Um, obviously, I came up short, but uh, I did the best I could. And that's all I can ask for. That race is very tight. I mean, I was in lane two. So it was kind of hard to really like tell where I was, but I felt like I was in a good position. I just fought hard. All the girls ran fast. so. Congrats to the three that's going. Can you talk a little bit about your season and some of those ups and downs? Because I, I know you ran fast really early on and there were some ups and downs, but then you went overseas and you ran fast before trials. Yeah. What are some of the things that you did to be able to get here? Um, yeah, I started out the season pretty strong. And um, I had a knee niggle and then a hamstring injury that took me out of a few races. So I, I did a lot of climbing my way back to um, even get to the point where I was. When I ran in Turku, I had a very solid three-week training block and I felt very strong coming into this. So um, the two rounds of Turku definitely prepared me, but then I got here and I kind of had another setback, a little like adductor tightness and just a lot going on with my body. I think just trying to catch up and just kind of ran out of time. I'm curious if you could talk about your resiliency, where it's like year after year, you're always showing up. You've had some of the best seasons of your career, you know, despite being quote unquote in like the second half of your career in a sense. And I was speaking with Lolo Jones and she's like, you could be one of the first people who gets to like 40 years old and still running like 12 seconds. Right. But talk about your resiliency throughout. Um, I feel like you're only as old as you feel. So I don't like to put like an age barrier on myself. Uh, I honestly don't know who came up with these ages and I mean I guess it's just like the longevity that each person has maybe they just kind of did the average but I feel good and my children keep me young so um, yeah I've been running a long time but I did take breaks with the pregnancy and everything and I think that it helped keep me fresh and I'm still determined my body is like very strong and I have a strong mind so I always say you can will yourself to anything. I train super hard and I like being in that environment so that's why I'm still here. And I guess what keeps you going every day? Well for one I like to be fit <laughs> so that's where it starts. I mean I always tell myself either I voluntarily go work out in the gym or I just go out to training every day and be around people who have similar goals to myself and this one was a big one for me. I really wanted to make that team. I really wanted a gold medal. Um, but I fell short. So it's really sucks. We'll see where I go from here. A lot of people still proud of you. So yeah, hopefully you'll have the rest of the season to pick things back up and come back and be stronger. So thank you so much. Absolutely.